Hey guys, I'm going to be doing curly hair for bangs. No, I'm going to be doing hairstyles for curly hair bangs. If you were from some of my past tutorials, basically my hair just gets curlier and curlier, which is a good thing because I'm getting health. My hair is getting healthy. If you don't think my hair is curly, just leave your comments to yourself. Everyone has different types of curls. We all have different variations of curly hair. I just want to leave this disclaimer because every single time multiple comments are left, but it's fine. My bangs are a little grown out a little bit and I'm not going to lie. I like never wear my bangs down. I could be a YouTuber right now and be like, oh my God, ghost. Oh, I'm scared. But I know that was my air conditioner. <laughs> I barely wear my bangs in my face because I just feel like it's a, it's a lot going on. I want these hairstyles to kind of pull away from the bushiness so my curls and my bangs are complemented. My first hairstyle is super simple. I'm pretty sure I've done this. No, I know for a fact I've done this in others, but it's literally just to pull your hair away from your face in some way or form. So I'm going to show you two different variations of it because I don't want to make these two different like, I mean, they are two different hairstyles, but yeah, just get like this side bush, basically pull it back like so. Make sure you leave your bangs down. You don't want those going back with it because it would defeat the purpose of this look. And I'm going to get a little clippy. Come on, focus, buddy. My hand looks so attractive like this. Honestly, should I be a hand model? They look like a 70 year old ladies and I've never understood it. Even as a kid, my hands look like I was 70 years old. And then one day I saw a post on like Facebook or something. I was like, you can always tell an 80s age by her hands. And I was like, oh my God, am I actually 70 years old? So we're gonna do the same for this side. Pull it back. And then you can kind of mess with these. Make them fluffy. And this is the look. You take these out. Look number two, which falls basically in the same category as look number one. We're going to take the hair and we're just going to put it in a little whatever you want to pin it in, honestly. I'm going to put it in a bun. So I got a ponytail holder. This one is small, but I think it'll be fun. And then just kind of like do that. Just pin this layer back in some way, shape, or form. I know sometimes just the one bun or the one ponytail is boring, so that's why I like to like do two. And I know it suits some people's face better. Uh, it's not a bit of an updo, it is an updo. <laughs> it's more of a unique hairstyle. Just so we can get away from like the basic pull your hair back. I'm gonna take half of my hair. You can part it down the middle if you want. I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm gonna take it down immediately after. Pull some little hair out on the side if you want it to frame your face. I'm gonna pull this up, take my pony, take take my ponytail we're not doing a pigtail okay i know what you're thinking oh god i'm about to click off just make a bun and now some of y'all are like okay that was way worse than a pigtail i'm gonna pull this out and make it like a real fluff like so we're gonna leave it psych i got you did you get scared i'm gonna take this other side and do the same thing what up guys my camera died i mean it hasn't been that much time for actually it hasn't been any time for y'all the fact that it was so much time for me in between those moments and it was no time for you is like an alternative reality. Ghost! 
And then also, I genuinely feel like this is a look that looks better with bangs. Like, without bangs? Oh, uh, with bangs. Okay, cool. Oh! Oh my gosh! I did this on accident, but I kind of like it. So how you create this look is you put the ponytails in loosely and then you shake your head. And also I feel like to make this look even more of a look, you can like pull out random pieces of hair so they're just like hanging down. Do you see the joy on my face right now? Like, I, I just made this. I'm sorry that I'm freaking out, but like, I feel like I just discovered a freaking new species or something. I'm probably way too excited. Okay, I get to name this look. What will I name it? Uh, Nappy Panda Bear. Hey guys, um, future Tori, I'm, I'm editing and that was probably the dumbest name I have ever heard in my entire life, ever. So, if you have a better name, which literally Poo Poo Pee Pee would have been a better name, please leave it in the comments. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, now it's time for the highlight reel of these looks. Thank you for not clicking off. Um, yeah. I'm only <laughs> A headscarf can pull back all of the puffiness and I guess flatten it out a bit and just give a real good cleaner bang look. It's super easy. You literally just get a headscarf and you, you tie it. That's, that's it guys. And then I like to pull pieces out right here. Not too much because if you get too much it kind of defeats the purpose if you have like really thick curly hair. A lot of times I'll get my bangs and kind of like push them back into the hair headscarf. Not all my bangs, just some of them so it's not like too much going on. And we got this cottage core vibe. If you don't have like a headscarf, you can literally buy a bandana. Just make sure it's like a bigger one. These puppies are my go-to whenever I've gone a week and a half without washing my hair or a month. <laughs> if you have curly hair, I highly suggest a headscarf. You can make it into a ponytail. So cute. You can do a lot of different things with it. Oh, there was a hair in my nose ring. Oh my God. It was like the feeling of earthworms. I don't, I don't know. Oh God, my heart hurts. I don't know why that got me. Okay, anyway, this hairstyle, <laughs> very good. content because I don't feel like these deserve their own but low pony don't look too shabby with it a high pony looks fantastic with bangs and then a high bun a high bun also looks very swell with bangs and I'm sure y'all know how to do a high ponytail high bun and low ponytail y'all don't need me to give y'all some explanations if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the looks if you like me i hope you do <laughs> if you don't it's fine just unsubscribe or just like i need to stop promoting the downfall of my channel i do that in every video i literally promote the downfall of my channel i think that you should like this video right now share this video comment please comment you can leave a hate comment to see 
why am I like this? So close to 10K, guys. Like, I never knew I would make it this far in YouTube. When I started YouTube, I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna do this for like a year and I'm gonna have like 200 subs, but I'm about to hit 10K. That's crazy to me. So yeah, subscribe. Uh, you guys are awesome, I love you. If you would like another video like this, let me know. Watch my other video. Okay, I'm doing too much self promo now. Bye guys, see you later. Okay. Let's see how complicated this is to take out. Oh my gosh, I was trying to shake this out. Oh God, curly hair! Also, I feel like I haven't seen my forehead in forever. Forever. You can unsubscribe. You can unsubscribe if you want.